So another day, another video from the Center for Medical Progress exposing the selling of intact dead babies. What would keep your lab happy? Like, what would what would make your lab happy? <laughs> Another 50 livers a week. So what would keep your lab happy? Another 50 livers a week. Yeah. <laughs> Five okay. Over. <laughs> okay. So you can handle that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's it's you know volume pricing. Volume pricing. So should the center win a Pulitzer for this work? After all, Ralph Nader was lionized for exposing the dangers of certain cars. Rachel Carson was sainted for demonizing DDT, which actually saved lives. Documentaries on dolphin cruelty win worldwide acclaim. President Barack Obama snagged a Nobel Prize for winning an election. Al Gore won one, two, and an Oscar for fomenting the apocalypse. 60 Minutes won Emmys for its ambush journalism, and movies get made about the first rap renegades. But really, in terms of guts, NWA holds no candle to the CMP. They did what the mainstream media would never do, piercing an iconic organization that media hacks spend careers covering for. The CMP dedicated years to this project, exposing a service that most people never knew existed because most journalists chose to ignore it. That's real reporting. Yet after exposing the unspeakable, no accolades. If only Republicans were sending the dead babies by mail instead, it would matter. Instead, you have funny or die defending those who butcher for the greater good. Now, whether you like Planned Parenthood or not, you cannot deny that these videos are true bombshells, the kind that would stir the envy of today's Woodward and Bernsteins if they actually exist. Perhaps their absence is just one of many in this pro-choice world. So th this is not, Dana, this is not a newspaper or a blog. It's a group. But this is, isn't, wouldn't you call this investigative journalism? That's freelanced in a way. It's citizen journalism, yeah. right? So when bloggers first came on the scene and people would make fun of those guys in the basement in their pajamas, yeah. then they actually started breaking all of the news. Right. And I remember um, when uh, a New York Times reporter called me to follow up on a rumor that it started with one of these bloggers. And I said, How, are you, aren't you embarrassed that you're following this story? And he said, well, the last time I didn't, it was a blogger, mm -hmm. and it was Rob Louie, who now works at the Heritage Foundation, who actually revealed that Dan Rather's documents about George Bush's uh, National Guard Service were forged. Mm -hmm. It was actually, that, what, that was news, and it wasn't done by anybody who was sanctioned by the press as being like a card-carrying member of the press corps. Um, the other thing is, technology has improved Mm -hmm. The ability for citizen journalists, not only in this country, but all over the world. And it is celebrated when you can get technology like a phone into the hands of somebody in South Sudan. Yeah. who can do reporting for us that we can't do ourselves. That's true. I mean, somebody could tape us. And they should. And they should. No, they shouldn't. <laughs> it would be a blockbuster. It really would. But we don't do this. No. But I right. want to go to you, KG, because yeah. your head was about to explode. <gasps> well, right. Because when I listened to her language and talking about, oh, I'd like to have 50 more livers a day, I just want to say, you know, you're the Hannibal Lecter of family planning. That's what you are. You're a butcher. You're a murderer. You have no heart. And hell will be waiting for you. That's how I feel. It is so disgusting. I don't know how this isn't the lead on the news and the cover front page of the paper every day until this is stopped and this butchering is shut down. It is disgusting. They are using science to be able to make an excuse and justify the murders that they are committing. Uh, to me, it's, it, it's reprehensible. And not to get into all the details of the video, people that care to learn about it can click on it and watch it so you understand where we're coming from because we have so we know what's going on. It's very disturbing. Juan, you've been around. Um, <laughs> that's a compliment. Do you remember Geraldo got famous? Uh, the, it was Willowbrook. Do you remember the yeah, mental yeah. institution? In and he went there. It was a state-run institution for uh, mentally disabled and, and the horrors behind it. And that changed everything. Um, that's old school journalism. It seems uh, investigative journalism. It seems like this would fit that perfectly. And yeah, I mean, well, no, I don't think it fits perfectly, but it's the same model. And yeah. so I, I'll acknowledge that. But I mean, these guys are having trouble even today because apparently they used a picture of a, uh, a, a stillbirth mm -hmm. and made it seem as if they, it's what was being talked about. So people are questioning whether or not they have a strong political agenda and questioning their ethics in terms of journalism. So, I mean, that's why they would come into trouble. But I think this is really an argument about abortion and if you support or oppose abortion. And it's being done no. under the guise of this kind of, but I've you know, that's 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 that's, that's But I'm, a, I'm an easy contradict. I'm, I, I can contradict please, that. Please, I, please. I'm not doing anything about abortion. I, I realize it's here to stay. 
this is barbaric and wrong and has to be stopped. So yeah, and is it a bar- is it is it barbaric if they crack open my chest to do heart surgery on me? That's life saving. Awesome. No, no, that's saying. not good. You better no, 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 I'm just saying if you stop and talk about what doctors do, I mean, you know, it's, but this you know. is I mean, basically yeah. you you're talking? you're building health benefits on the dead, yeah. people who didn't even have a chance to be alive. Juan, it's infanticide, and that's their business model. It is not. Yes, it is. What they're doing no, is they're not. delivering the baby through partial Please. birth abortion on purpose. Let me just say, just so they can pluck out the body. Parts like, like Mr. Know, Potato Head. This is something that's what that this, they're doing. This, Juan. this is somehow. Have you seen the videos? You. This is pleasing to you, but let me just tell you, Jesse. Why is it the pleasing? Country, to you? You, and Juan, because, to go after because the he ethics, has a political agenda Juan, here. Oh, the political agenda is to perfect babies. That's the yeah, agenda to, to protect babies. To and the question, oh, the ethics ago, you said this wasn't about the video taped it. It is about all Jesse's doing is having an abortion. Did I just say to you that they shouldn't be butchering? Juan, you're having the political argument. I'm not having. You're defending Planned Parenthood as a political as a political angle no i'm yes, saying planned We're not talking about if, breast if i wanted to defend screening. planned parenthood our, i would tell yeah. you that in fact they don't do many abortions most of what they do is prevent abortions yeah. through contraception which i think i'm is sure so that's key. all they do Juan. but no. they're making a ton of money off bed, dead baby body oh, parts it's not listen again <laughs> yes that's they where are the journalism breaks down because you have your own agenda let's just be honest. what's if the agenda saving babies by- no abortion you are opposed that is to abortion. Not no, not. what it is about one oh isis God. chops off babies heads oh and you're gosh. upset about that but you, yes, you're okay with planned parenthood doing they're it. not chopping off any babies did you see the last video they're talking about intact specimens you know what you're talking about you know what an intact Stopping fetal research in this country. Right. That is abortion. not true. No. We got to take a break. That's we gotta move legal. On. We got to move on. This isn't. This will. This story will not go away. Obviously. Thank God.